Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. A little breeze blowing out here. I'm sure you can hear it. Looks like we're the sky is trying to get some color in it here. These clouds around us. Got a mix of high and low clouds here this morning. 73 degrees, 73 degrees. Expecting the high temperature today to be up around 90. Some isolated rain. Not smelling any red tide out here. That's a good thing this morning. But of course the wind is still blowing offshore coming from the east. might see some interesting colors here. We're going to see if this gets more intense or fades out here as the sun rises. That over there is almost a fog. It is very, very, it is a very low cloud bank over there, all up here. Moving to the southwest. How is everyone doing this morning? I love it when I can get out here early like this. This just makes my day. I'm going to start posting my morning visits with Roy later in the day, you know, after six o'clock. It's just the way my schedule is working out here. I don't have as much time in the morning to do things. That way everybody can get together and chat again after dinner. At least if you're in my time zone here. I really don't, I can't give any exact time when those videos will post with Roy because once I post it, it has to get processed by Facebook. And sometimes that happens in a matter of 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes an hour to an hour and a half for Facebook to process the video. I don't know why it takes so long sometimes. So I cannot, I have no clue when it's going to post. That's only if I do it as one of those premieres is it's almost like a live feed but it lets you all get together and chat and you know live semi live and i think that's kind of fun give you that opportunity i think that'll be fun to give you an opportunity later in the day to get together so that's what i'm going to do with roy's videos they'll be coming on around the same time it came on yesterday but remember, you can participate in the comments live while you're watching that video. Hopefully, Roy will be out here today. Well, there's some beautiful colors behind these low clouds. You can see that's, that's like a fog rolling through here, those low gray clouds. They're moving really fast, too. Beautiful colors behind it.
see a few fish jumping out here in the water around me. See them and hear them. Beautiful colors behind these low clouds here. Hey Karen, good morning Karen. trees here. You can see how fast those lower clouds are blowing through here. They're moving pretty quick. If I can get close to some trees, it'll give you a reference. But there's some beautiful pinks and yellows behind those darn gray clouds in front of us. Watch how fast they're moving. If I just stand here, video clips that I posted yesterday evening. It gives you a pretty good look of Wiggins Pass here. Wiggins Pass and Barefoot Beach across the pass. It gives you a good look at where I'm standing here this morning. For those of you that have never made it down here, that have never been able to come to the beach here, You can see the trees in area five along the edge of the water. You can make out the little trails that we kind of walk on in the morning. Boy, a lot of fish starting to jump out here. Not a feeding frenzy, but it's 
good to see life out there in the water always. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a dolphin this morning. actually thinking of posting these videos later in the day as well these live feeds let you guys enjoy the live feed all my supporters give you the live experience the real live experience oh look at we're getting some nice color right in there give you guys the live experience but then let some of the others watch the video i don't know i got mixed feelings about it I really want to see some more people step up and become supporters. But I hate depriving the world of this beauty. It's a catch-22. Man, now those pinks are starting to show up, even though the clouds are in front of them. snap off a quick photo don't go anywhere beautiful beautiful it's always different isn't it here in the mornings that was an osprey that just flew across the screen there every time we come out here it's a different look a different experience down here in the water reflecting in the water that has some intense colors right there behind those clouds wow wow that is just intensifying I'm sorry, I gotta get another picture. Sorry about that. Beautiful sight, huh?
there is some fog, definitely fog in the air here. The condos just over to the left there, they're getting covered up in the, in the fog now. It's still a little dark. The fog's actually starting to hide them over there. You can see the ones in the back behind the fog. It's just, it's rolling through really fast. See the ones on the left have more fog around them. They're actually taller buildings. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, those colors are slowly starting to fade. Got some pinks out in the Gulf of Mexico this morning. Got some pink in the sky out there to the west. There's a bunch of birds over on the other side of the pass. They're making a racket. It's still too dark to see them here, but they are making a racket over there. boy look at the fog now look at those condos behind the boat nice boat That is a nice boat. Look at the size of that thing. That is a nice fishing boat there. Three motors. Whew. Gas guzzler. Nice boat. 
Must be nice to have the toys. All those toys. Off he goes. Condos have almost disappeared over there. They've almost disappeared behind the fog now. Wow. You can just feel the humidity increasing here as the fog rolls through. There's actually two buildings over there. There's five or six, six buildings in that shot there. There's two on the left that are just about invisible. Seven buildings actually in that shot. That's neat. And the colors have just about disappeared. see Pinky here. I still can't see over on the other side. I can hear a bunch of birds over there. I can't see them. They're kind of blending in with the shoreline. We're all along here. Foggy, foggy morning. Watch that aerial video that I posted yesterday and it'll give you a really, gives you a really good look at where I am right now, at where I'm walking. Gives you a much better understanding of the layout of the land here. Great 
blue heron just took off. Some interesting, interesting photos with the dead trees. Can really get creative with the camera back in here if you do it right. Play with your focal lenses, your focal distances, not lenses, your focal distances. But you can get some really cool pictures back in here. Looking through the trees. There's a good look back at the pass. I want to walk around here, see how far Dexter can make it up here this morning. I don't know if he, I know he always wears his tennis shoes, so he's not going to walk out into the water. I don't know how far he can get around up here. I believe low tide is at around 8.30 this morning. So we still got a little ways to go. This tree hanging over the water makes for some interesting photos at certain times of the day. I have no idea what kind of bird this is right down here. No clue. I don't know what that is. With that big orange beak, what the heck kind of bird is that? I have no idea what that is. I have never noticed one of those here before. Anybody a bird expert here watching? He's trying, he's moving fast here, I'm trying to keep the camera steady and get a good look at him. It looks like a mix of different birds. <laughs> No clue what that is. Really cool looking. Drilling into the ground like an ibis. That's what it looks kind of like a penguin with a big orange beak, doesn't it? That is the craziest looking thing. Let's see if I can get closer without scaring it. Or just around the other side of it to get a better view. What the heck is that?
I'm sure it's something probably really common and I've just never noticed it. I wish I had a good camera right now to get a picture of that. Give me one second here. I'm going to try to get a, a photo anyway of it. Hang on. Oh, I wasn't able to get it, but look at all the look at all the seagulls over here. Look at them all. Wow. It's all circling around the pass right now. Look at them all over the place here. I think they're gulls. I don't think they're terns. Wow. But what is this little fellow over here? That's what I'm wondering. What is that? With that orange beak. orange legs, the orange beak. That is not a black skimmer. That is not a black skimmer. Good guess though, but not quite a black skimmer. This, this bird is actually brown. It's hard. It's hard to tell the color of that bird, but it's more of a brown than a black. The skimmer is much more black. Very cool. And a skimmer would be flying around skimming. That is cool. Well, maybe we'll figure it out later. Wow, the fog has gotten thicker. Even thicker over here, look at that. The birds have settled down. They've all landed again over on the other side of the pass. Dexter can get down here pretty far this morning. Up to marker eight here. Down to marker eight. But look how thick that fog has gotten. Wow. Sorry, just taking photos. Me and my photos. Well, whatever kind of bird that is, it is definitely not bothered by me at all. It's 
just walking back and forth. They are almost hanging out with me. Back and forth. right down there in front of me. I'm trying to see, does it have webbed feet? Nope, not webbed feet. So, not webbed feet like a gull has webbed feet. Definitely just going about its business, not paying any attention to me. Cool. Well, let's start moving down the beach here. See what other interesting things we come across. See what else we can find out here this morning. Very quiet out here this morning. Very quiet. There's that beautiful. There's a beautiful great blue heron there. Boy, there's a picture right there. Sorry. Hang on. It'd be beautiful if the sun would pop out here. It doesn't look like the sun's gonna be coming out for a little while. Hearing some big fish jumping around me. Some big fish. But I don't want to scare you away, buddy.
It's just too dark out here. Too dark. I don't know if Roy's out here or not. I didn't, I didn't, don't think I saw him up here. This guy's just staring at me. Just staring at me saying, what you doing? Well, I'm taking your picture sharing your magnificence with the world. Red Tide Report. Yeah, there's Red Tide here. All over Southwest Florida, we have Red Tide. All over the news, they are talking about the Red Tide. However, it's not so bad here at Del Nor Wiggins. I've only been up here at the pass. I haven't seen any dead fish on my walk yet. I haven't smelled anything. So it seems like Del Nor Wiggins is kind of escaping the escaping the wrath of the red tide. I mean we're seeing some effects of it, but not like other beaches around here, that's for sure. We have been really lucky here at Del Nor Wiggins. We'll see what we see as we move down the beach. Hopefully it'll be nice down there. But we're kind of lucky with this wind, this offshore wind, kind of keeps the smell away. It is out there in the Gulf, that's for darn sure. The red tide is out there, but this breeze Kind of keeps that stench away. He's going to move down the beach a little farther. Or up river, rather. Not the beach, he's actually going up river. The beautiful great blue heron. I do not see Pinky over on the other side. See the fog in the air all around. Boys, these big egrets take yes, these big white egrets take off. You can actually hear the air. You can hear their the air flapping in their wings. Pretty cool. There's another great blue heron flying across the pass. Heading down. Oh, just did a Yui. <laughs> Went back off into the woods behind me. Thought he was gonna go join that other one. That other one went way down, way east there, up river. No buildings now. Look at that. The buildings are out of sight. That's amazing. There's definitely, I mean, I can feel the moisture in the air now. I can actually feel the moisture in the air from the fog. It's kicked up that humidity but it's definitely keeping the temperatures down. Let's see, what did I, did I say low tide was at 8.30? High tide is at high tide is at 8:30. I think I said low tide earlier. Man, high tide.
Well, the fog doesn't keep the fishermen away. That's for sure. Pretty flat out there actually this morning. The water's pretty calm. Starting to, the fog's starting to burn off a little bit here. Starting to see a little patch of blue sky up here. It's hard to see in the camera. Starting to see a little blue out here in the Gulf. It's still pretty heavy inland. Can't even see up. You can barely see across the pass right now. Barefoot Beach just kind of disappears into the mist. Birds are starting to show up here now. Water doesn't look too bad up here. Again, not smelling anything bad anyways. Not seeing any dead fish on the beach yet. Maybe this fog will burn off by the end of our beach walk. We'll see what happens. But let's head down the beach here, see where Roy's at. Didn't see Roy this morning yet, unless he snuck out and I missed him. Good morning, ladies. How's the fishing today? Not, go not good? <laughs> no, f nothing? Lady fish? No, we didn't catch actually anything. No, nothing? Nothing, nothing to, uh-oh. You have to change your bait. Well, I tried, you know, I tried. <laughs> See, live, uh, uh, any, anything. 
nothing's working. Nope. Oh, okay. well, maybe they're, they're full. <laughs> they had a big dinner. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, I like the fog. All right, have a great day. No luck on the fishing. They haven't caught anything yet this morning. Those two ladies are from Russia. They get out here. It's pitch black when they get out here. I see them out here in the early in the morning in the darkness, sitting on the beach with a flashlight looking out into the water. Well, a big lantern actually looking into the water, trying to see if there's anything out there. It's fun to see the ladies out here fishing, not just all guys. And that's kind of their spot. They're always, 95% of the time, that's the spot they're in right there where we just saw them fishing. Unless it's really, really rough, then they'll go around the corner of the pass up where we were doing some bird watching. But they kind of stay away from all the other fishermen Oh, this is a tough walk right in here, right here on the trail. Back when we had that storm, back when um, Tropical Storm or Tropical Storm Nestor actually hit up in the panhandle of Florida, but it caused some super high tides here in rough water, just pushed a bunch of shells up onto the trail here. And it is a little difficult walking in bare feet through this little patch of the trail here. You can just hear them crunching under my feet. Tough walk for Roy. Uh, I actually wish he'd just take the boardwalk, but then it's hard for him to get down the steps at the end of the boardwalk. Well, I don't see any of our osprey buddies up in the tree there, up in the pine tree. Nobody up there squawking at me. Did see several of them flying around in the pass over the pass this morning, so that's good. They're here, our ospreys are here. I don't know if this fog's gonna get thicker before it gets thinner or what. Foggy morning in North Naples, that's for sure. So I saw in this morning's news that the city of Naples is going to invest some more money in a new beach rake. They have a, this big rake that they pull behind a tractor on the beach and it scoops up all the trash and seaweed and dead fish on the beach. They rake their beaches down there. They'd also do that up here in Collier County. They don't do it in the state park. They let the, they leave the beaches natural here at Del Nor Wiggins. But the county likes those pristine and the city, those pristine raked beaches. I prefer all natural. I like it just the way it is. I want to see what mother nature does. I want to see her handiwork. Hence, all these dead trees. You know, some like it pristine and manicured, some like it all natural. I'll take the natural look. A little break up here, a little break. If you look really close, you can see some blue. A 
a little break but still heavy still really heavy looking down here to the south there's Roy just walking up the beach now I don't know just coming up the beach or is he heading back he, I don't know if he made it up to the end I see him and Cindy down there and there's looks like Dexter coming up to him look at that fog wow Is that Dexter? Well, he's doing his exercises like Dexter. I think he's trying to take off. I think Dexter's trying to fly. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. If that's Dexter. I know Dexter has a bright green shirt. That might not be him. Uh, I can't see. No, that's not Dexter. Somebody else trying to take flight on the beach. I don't know where Dexter is. We saw him, I, I didn't see him yesterday. I was out here for a little while with the drone. Good morning, you look like you're trying to fly. If you check out those photos, those aerial photos, there's one there, uh, kind of a lower shot up by the trees up here in Area 5. I tagged Dexter. You'll see Dexter walking along the beach in it. I didn't notice him when I was flying the drone, but I saw him when I got home and was able to see the full-size photos. might not see the fog burn off while we're out here this morning. It might be lingering for a while here. We did see some nice colors there though at sunrise for a little while. Even with the fog, the fog was just rolling in. So we did get to see some nice color. But I think this fog is neat. The fog is beautiful. I always say, you know, it doesn't matter. It's always beautiful out here. One way or the other. It's always gorgeous. So far, looking good here. Have not seen any dead fish. So far, so good. The water is just not as nice as it should be, but it could be a lot worse. So look at it that way. It could be much worse. Well, more blue up here, getting a bigger patch of blue sky up here, but it's out over the Gulf. Still really thick. 
really thick out to the east. You can just kind of see a glow where the sun's coming up over here. You can actually, there's a rainbow up there. Really hard to see. There's no way the camera's gonna pick it up. There's like a, there's a rainbow right up in here. Very hard, the camera, there's no way the camera can see it. I can barely see it with my eyeballs. <laughs> It's like a refraction and it's already gone. It just disappeared. Temperature wise, it is beautiful out here. I have no clue what the temperature is. It was 73 when I came out. Doesn't feel like it's increased very much. Still seeing some of that red drift algae out in the water. Not as much as we have in the past, over the past week. I see a little clump of it out there. Now with it being so dark, it's hard to see in the water. It is really calm though out here, that's for sure. That water is flat this morning. I'd love for one of our little dolphin buddies to come by here and say good morning. There's a bunch of pelicans way offshore sitting out in the water. Must be a big school of fish out there. They're really far offshore. Way out there. Big flock of them. I, I could try to zoom in, but I don't think you'll see them. I don't know. The camera won't fo well. You can kind of see those black dots out there. There's a bunch of them out there. But they're way out there. Looks like they're moving on. Yeah, dive bombing, doing some dive bombing.
Ooh, the sun. I can see the sun through the clouds. There's a hole in the clouds over there. You can see the sun right there through the clouds. See that little white dot? Yep. Now the clouds are moving in front of it again, darn it. Might be thinning out. Might finally be thinning out. Nice. Getting a little brighter. Some of our little sandpiper friends over here. Kind of chilling out this morning. Not running around the beach like maniacs. sandpiper sanderlings <laughs> they're always fun to watch running around in the mornings up and down the beach in and out of the waves I must have missed Dexter somehow. Either missed him or he's not out here this morning. That sun is trying to break through, but it's just not happening. There's a little hole in the clouds, the sun will come out, and then boom, it disappears again. It's out right now, but it's getting ready to disappear again. There it is, but it's going right behind the clouds again. It's trying its best to come out. Love to see some beautiful blue sky before I leave here this morning. Maybe after Roy's, my little visit with Roy, it'll be nice. But it's definitely trying.
Hey, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, for watching, for being a friend, a follower, a supporter. As you know, tips are always appreciated. Every dollar counts. If you like what you see and you want to send a little thank you, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post, and I do appreciate it. Those of you that have sent something, thank you so very much. Those of you that... Some of you send something almost on a regular basis. That is just amazing. You're so wonderful. But just your friendship alone is a big thanks. Love to see. Let's see if we can get some more people out here watching with us. Let's increase the size of our family. Our beach family. I see Dexter now. Now I see him coming up the beach. See what he saw. We'll get a report from him, see what things look like down to the south. And I'll be turning around here in a couple minutes and heading back up the beach. Definitely the fog is getting lighter now definitely thinning out starting to see a few blue patches out over the, the water now here comes Dexter Good morning. How are things going today? It's fine, thank you. Anything? Yeah. Have you seen anything interesting down there? Nope, not today. I only saw, I see one dead fish down there. One yeah. dead fish? Yeah, it's probably a big one. Hmm. Yeah. How's the water looking down that way? Same as this. It's, it's looking good. Is it? Yeah. All right. Sweet, yeah. sweet. Yeah, that's good. That's good news. Um, did you see yourself in that aerial picture that I took? No, I did I tagged you in a photo yesterday. <laughs> I saw you tag me, but I didn't know which photo it was. Yeah. The aerial one? Yeah. <laughs> There's, yeah, you're down you're down in the corner, the right corner. I didn't see you when I was taking the pictures up there. Then when I got home, oh, there's Dexter. <laughs> because I, Kev, I saw Kevin down there when I had the drone over there, and uh, he said, did you see Dexter? I'm like, no. He said, oh, he's just out here. <laughs> I'll have to look at it. So you use a drone. I was wondering how you got those pictures. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, that's a drone. Okay. And the... Uh, yeah, the parks let me come in here and take some pictures, you know. Well, they like it because it gives them a good perspective of what the beach looks like from above, you know, so they get, you know, it's good for them. Yep. I did a video. I shot some video. I don't know if you were in the video. I didn't look for you in the video walking along. I'll look for that aerial picture. Yeah. You might be in the videos, too. Okay. But you'll be a little speck. You had your, you had your bright green on yesterday, so you were easy to spot. <laughs> But the beach looks good down there, except for one dead fish. Yeah, it does. does it look yeah. like they just raked it? No, it, it's, it's, it's actually right behind the rock. Oh, okay, on our yeah, beach. On our okay. Because yeah. the, the county said they're got, that rake's on its last leg. They're going to be getting a new one. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was just on the news this morning. Oh, I Fif that. 55 grand for a beach rake. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. But people like their clean beaches. I guess so. I like my beach like this, all natural. It's all natural. It's yep, nice. yep. I don't like all those condos along the beach. No, this, is, this is better. <laughs> Much better. All right. <laughs> okay, we'll all right, Dexter. Out. Have a good one. Okay, you Well, there goes Dexter. Well, that was good news. That was a good report there. 
The beach looks pretty nice, he said. Pretty nice. I mean, it's not perfect. We all know that. We know we're dealing with the red tide, but he saw one dead fish down in Area 1 at Del Norwegians. Not bad. Not bad, considering how bad it is in other places around here. So we're pretty, you know, we're actually very fortunate here in North Naples, at, right here at Del Nor. Another reason to come out to Del Nor Wiggins, another reason. Good morning. And as you can see, no condominiums along the beach here. No houses or condos. That's another huge plus why I like coming out here. I mean, uh, all of our beaches are beautiful here in their own way. This just happens to be my favorite. Barefoot Beach is nice. It's just a long drive to get to Barefoot Beach. And up to the north of us, Lover's Key, another beautiful state park. Lover's Key, Carl Johnson State Park, Lover's Key, another beautiful park. If you've never been there, it's definitely worth going and checking out. That's another reason why you should get yourself an annual pass here at Del Nor Wiggins so you can get into all of our Florida state parks. There's some beautiful parks up in the, towards the center of the state. Blue Springs with their beautiful, beautiful springs and manatees. Over on the other coast, beautiful. Over on the east coast, beautiful state parks. I mean, if you come down here and, you know, if you're a part-time resident down here in the winter months and you got time on your hands, it would definitely behoove you to get a pass and go visit all of our state parks. Just take a road trip. If you got an SUV, buy yourself a tent. You know, you can get a tent for pff, maybe a hundred bucks, less than 200 bucks, a really nice tent and go camping in our parks. Go do a road trip and camp out and explore Florida. So many beautiful, beautiful parks. If you, if you like this park here, Del Nor Wiggins, and you want to help support the park, become a friend of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Google friends of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Look them up on Facebook. It'll take you to their website. Just sign up and become a friend of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park if you want to see this park continue to thrive. Those membership fees Any funds they raise and fees they charge, that money's, that goes back to this park, directly to this park. It doesn't go into the big pot that gets spread with, you know, spread around all the parks. Your entrance fees that you pay here, the gate fees, that money gets divided into all of Florida State Parks. That goes into the big pot. But any money that Friends of, Flo Friends of Del Nor Wiggins raises, that stays right here at Del Nor Wiggins. Very important. That's how they're able to retile the bathrooms, repair the boardwalks, pick up the trash, paint the lines on the road. There's so much work to do in here. So much work that needs to be done. They're always, always short on funds here at Del Nor Wiggins, always. So if you like what you see here and you wanna see this park continue to thrive, consider becoming a friend of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Well, that fog is really thick now to the north. It's getting lighter behind me down to the south, but up to the north, it is still thick. Wow, very thick.
starting to thin up, thin out though, down to the south. Actually, can start to see the condos down there. There's a, those pelicans are still sitting out there. There's just a big line of them out in the water out there. Must be something good out there for them. Must be some good eating out there. I can feel the mist in the air as I'm walking along here. I can feel the mist from the fog. Boy, the birds are all being lazy this morning. They're just kind of sitting up on the beach here. Sitting up on the, they're sitting up on a big pile of shells, kind of chilling out up here. See them all? Just chilling. It is kind of gloomy, kind of dreary. Even the sandpipers are kind of mellowed out this morning. There's one turn over there on the left. Come on, there should be two. She should have two turns squabbling. The turn on the left, the little sanderlings or sandpipers and Are willet birds. These are willet birds. Willets. W I L L E T, I think. There's willet. The willets. We see a lot of them on the beach. They're noisy. Boy, they make a racket. Neat stripes under their wings when they're flying. Neat pattern underneath their wings. The Willets. Well, there's our blue sky this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
As I said, I don't really care if it's blue sky. Just being out here is a treat. Just being out here, being able to enjoy this weather. Just being able to enjoy the beach. Still got the sights, the beautiful sights around, and the sounds, and the smells, and the people. Always wonderful to be out here, always wonderful. And then to be able to have friends like you tagging along with me, that's what makes it even more special. Morning. How you doing? I see Roy and Cindy sitting up under the tree here. Just go say hi to them quick. See what Roy's plans are. Hope he's planning on sticking around here. Well, that was some concert we had the other day, wasn't it? <laughs> Was that ever fun or what? That was a blast. Lee with the guitar, Roy singing and playing the harmonica. Lee was really talented. Talented musician. Thank you, Lee, for doing that. That was fun. You definitely made Roy's day. What's up, strangers? Hey. Did you make it up to the end today? Yeah, we were yeah, up there. We, we waited and waited. Little... <laughs> you didn't see me. I was up there all morning. Yeah, I saw you. You were around the corner. I was you up there. You were by my shell tree. So we yeah. At the pink sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little pink sky. A little pink sky. Huh? A little? It was beautiful. Yeah, we're... it was here, too. But then it cluttered. Well, there, that's right. There was one area, but it didn't last it... very long. It just, well, it was coming and going behind the fog. It was, I mean, it got really intense for a little while. But then we had three dolphins, so. Uh, you saw three dolphins? Yeah. Where at? Uh, two out here and then one up close to near the fishermen. Oh, nice. The two were way out, though? Yeah. Yeah, they've been, it's like the pelicans. There's, they're sitting pretty far they're offshore. Weird. They're having a meet, their Wednesday morning meeting. They're, oh, is that what it is? It's a meeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a prayer Wednesday. It's a prayer group. It's their Wednesday morning prayer group out there. Yeah, they're the attack. The attack. The pelicans are going to attack us, <laughs> and or they're going to bomb us. Yeah, they're going to yeah. bomb us. <laughs> you don't want to get bombed by a pelican. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they eat you up with that big, big uh, Put you in that big pouch and carry you away. Yeah. I wonder where we'd end up. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little while. You gonna stick around or? Oh yeah. I know. It's raining a little, but it's just condensation. Yeah. Did you um figure out when your doctor next doctor's appointment is? I think I got it on my calendar. Yeah. It's mañana. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. Surgeon or with the. The leg. I don't know what they All right. Well, as long as you're keeping track of it, we don't want you missing those appointments. All right, Cindy. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for keeping an eye on Daddy-O. <laughs> He's hard to keep an eye on, you know. I know. It's hard, it's hard keeping up with him. I want to give you a hug before you leave anyway. Oh, sweet. Love hugs. Thank you, dear. Ah, that's great. Roy, I'll settle for a handshake. <laughs> no, give him a big... <laughs> oh, it's okay for guys to hug. Yes. Absolutely. What happened? I got Russian hugs. You got ru some Russian hugs yeah. from the Russian, from both of them? Yeah. Oh, oh lucky you. I learned, I learned how to say good morning in Russian. How do you say good morning in Russian? Something or other, Guda Tatra or something. I, I, I forget it now. Russians. Yeah, that's kind of a hard language. You're talking to two old people here that can't remember. And then, the then goodbye is Dosidanya. Dosidanya. Yeah, that Dosidanya is goodbye. Yeah. Well, they're, fu they're up. 
fun. They're yeah. fun. Yeah, they're nice ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, they're definitely nice. The husbands sleep in and they fish. Oh, okay. So they got husbands. <laughs> I used to see one of their husbands out here with them, but not anymore. They want to sleep. They, 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 as of when I passed them by, they did not catch one fish yet up there. No, but that one guy, Dennis the Menace. Dennis, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> you call him Dennis the Menace, Roy? Yeah. yeah well, he, catch, yeah. he catches lizard, mm, excuse me, lizard. lizard fish. A lizard fish. Yeah, they look like lizards. Look like and they hang out on the um, sandbar. I've never seen those. Wow, that sounds creepy. <laughs> a lizard fish. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for them. I saw, I saw a bird up there. I have no idea what it was. I have no, no, I have no idea what kind of bird it was this morning. Something very strange. Looked like a mix of a bunch of different birds. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one. You too. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Say tally ho. Tally -ho. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Cindy, that is so sweet of her coming out here and walking with Roy in the morning. That is so sweet. She um, comes out here pretty early, makes sure Roy gets in the gate, then walks with them up to the pass in the morning. I'll go have a little chit chat with Roy in a little while here. But again, the good news is I don't smell any red tide. I do see, well, here's, here's the first fish, uh, dead fish I've seen floating in the water this morning. We know the red tide is out there. We know it's out there. I am not saying there is no red tide here. Actually right in here, right in this area, the water's a little cloudier than other areas. But well, there's a dead fish floating. So the red tide, we the red tide is here around us. It's just not real bad here at Del Nor Wiggins. But it's here, unfortunately. If you look at the map for the red tide, it says it's Good morning. It says it is anywhere from medium to high all along our coastline here in southwest Florida. The water is definitely much more cloudy right in this area up the north end of Area 4. Good morning. How are you doing? All right, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, right. I think it's, you know, it's different areas as you walk the beach yes, yes. but right in here it seems like it's it's worse than right down there it is yep. yeah up, there's always a few more yeah mm. oh have a good day mm -hmm. yep here's another fish another dead fish on the beach the birds pecking at it so it definitely seems like it definitely seems like the red tide is a little worse at the north end of the park right now. There's a, that's a dead mullet. A dead mullet. We just saw one floating out in the water. Saw one washed up on the beach here. And like I said, the water here is definitely, it was a little darker light wise sunlight wise when i was up here earlier but the water is definitely discolored up here at the north end so i don't smell it so i guess it's not a super high concentration of that algae but it is definitely here it's definitely offshore definitely offshore in higher concentrations. But 
we are fogged in. Foggy, foggy morning. You can see the line on the horizon where the fog's starting to lift to the south. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. Thanks for being a friend, a follower, a supporter. If you're not a supporter, please consider becoming a supporter. Then you can participate in the live feeds. You can comment during the live feeds. It's much more exciting live. And you get to talk to your friends. You can chat live with your friends while I'm doing my beach walk. And that's what the beach walk is all about. It's about connecting with your friends in the morning. And we got some wonderful friends here following along. And if you like what you see, remember tips are always appreciated, greatly appreciated. Always welcome and needed. Believe me, always welcomed and needed. So if you like what you see, if you want to send a little thank you, a little something extra, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And once again, thank you. Well, I am going to sign off. It's been a great Wednesday morning, foggy, but still beautiful in its own way. We did see some beautiful colors this morning. Did a little bird watching. And got to spend some quality time together. Well, until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this video. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like and share button. Sharing is really, really important. The share button is really important, especially on the videos. All right, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.